He was once one of Tennessee's most powerful elected officials, and now Glenn Cassida is facing decades in prison. Welcome to News to Inform, Alex Dennis. Today, the former Speaker of the House, seen here wearing a mask, dodged questions as he walked from the federal courthouse to a waiting car. Cassida was arrested at his Franklin home this morning on federal charges, including bribery and money laundering. His former chief of staff, Cade Cothran, you can see him here, leaving the courthouse hearing today, has also been charged in connection with the case. The two are accused of running a fake consulting firm in order to funnel state funds to themselves. News 2's Stephanie Langston is live at the federal courthouse with details on what happened during that hearing. Stephanie. Well, the former speaker and his chief of staff brought here to the federal courthouse, handcuffed and shackled, and then released just a little over an hour after appearing before the federal judge. Glenn Cassida walked past reporters with his lawyers to a waiting car outside of the federal courthouse, avoiding questions from reporters. Do you want to apologize to Tennessee? Kind of an expectation of honesty. Kate Cothran followed not long later, tight lipped as reporters followed along. However, he did say the truth will come out just before taking off in a waiting black SUV. Cassida and Cothran were arrested at their homes by FBI agents early this morning. Cassida, Cothran, and another conspirator are accused of taking part in a get rich scheme by exploiting their official positions to secure a mailer program vendor that investigators say was operated by Cothran under a fictitious name. A 20 count indictment charges both men with conspiracy to commit the following offenses theft from programs receiving federal funds, bribery and kickbacks concerning programs receiving federal funds, honest services, wire fraud, and conspiracy to commit money laundering. According to the indictment, the accusations date back to 2019, while Cassida was serving as a state rep for Franklin. Both men released on pretrial agreements, including surrendering their passports and avoiding contact with witnesses. Now, the judge did grant Cassida's request to take a four day vacation to Florida this weekend, as well as Cothran's to take a two week vacation to Florida in October with his parents. Reporting live from downtown Nashville, Stephanie Langston, News 2.